What's up YouTube? Blue Collar Success here and today in this video I'm going to be talking about encouragement and why you should start a business in 2022. Now service businesses are different than other types of businesses such as restaurant businesses etc. Now a service business delivers a service to a customer um, and I think that Mobile welding in specific, in particular is a very good business to start. And this is just a little bit of encouragement to you guys um, and girls, whoever is watching, that I believe that mobile welding, to a certain extent, unless the whole world has gone to crap, uh, will always be needed. Now, if there, if there is an economic downturn, I believe that mobile welding will still be essential. You know, as long as construction companies are going on, people are building some sort of stuff, even if the recession happens. You know, I've been talking more and more about making your business recession-proof on this channel. And is your business recession-proof? And basically, I'm just trying to help you all out with starting a business and making sure that you're off on the right track. Now, number one, you should have business insurance. Number two, you should be registered as an LLC or whatever type of business structure you decide. I will go into more of that later. And now that the weather is warming up, I will really try hard to get some more of these welding videos of me doing actual welding for you guys. I just bought a tripod. Um, I have a video camera now, and I will try to do more in-the-field welding videos for you guys because I really want to showcase that, and I want to grow my channel and also help you guys that are subscribed and also just new viewers. Um, mainly this channel is for, you know, learning about the business aspect, but I do want to show some other stuff on the channel welding tips and tricks and so on but it's important to be insured in this type of business now i'm a mobile welder plumber pipe fitter whatever you want to call it so i do a lot of piping i do plumbing and i do mobile welding i reason i expanded my business from just mobile welding is because um, plumbing and HVAC work is, is very consistent and it pays good. You know, I can charge a hundred bucks an hour, three hour minimum for my mobile welding business. But for my plumbing pipe fitting side of the business, I can charge, you know, the guys, the businesses in my area charge on average $350 an hour. But they got, you know, lots of overhead and crews and stuff like that. So I choose to do $200 an hour. That is my new minimum with a five-hour minimum. So if you do the math, that's a 1000 uh, bucks, pretty much for any job that I do. And yes, there's taxes. Don't forget to pay your taxes. Don't forget to be insured. That's so important. But I'm keeping my full-time job, working hard at it. And then I am basically doing this on the side for my business. Look who decided to join my dog. <laughs> but anyway, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is stay confident, stay encouraged, don't give up. If you want to start a business, go ahead and start it. Don't be afraid, but also make really calculated and uh, wise decisions about when you start. I would definitely keep your full-time job as you go along and as you progress in your business. And when you, when you can replace your income and you feel confident about going full-time, then you can make that leap of faith. If you can replace your income going full-time in your business, then I would make the leap of faith. That is basically what I would do. And I'm not at that point yet. And I plan on staying at my full-time job a long time because I really enjoy it. I enjoy the work that I do. 
and it helps me build experience. And I work with a great group of guys, but my mobile welding business, you know, my business ventures also help me in a variety of different factors because everything's going up in price and I hope to buy a house right now I'm renting and it sucks. You know, they, they, they just told me that rent will probably go up 15 to 20%. I just got an email about that. And that is just ridiculous. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's just bonkers what the market of the housing market looks like right now. And just stay encouraged, stay hopeful, but grind and stay focused on your goals. And I will make a, another video um, regarding this topic right now, my dog's just being obnoxious, but yeah, I mean, just stay hopeful, stay encouraged, don't give up hope and always do your best and work hard. Thanks for watching.